yesterday we complete uh, chapter 5 do you have any question from chapter 5 no sir okay so let's start with chapter number 6 uh, reporting management information uh, basically as we have already seen that throughout this uh, part a of the syllabus area that we are supposed to communicate to collect the cost transactions and then report it to the managers now in this chapter we will going to see that how we can report the information to the managers uh, this chapter basically is more of a business communication chapter and here we will see that whenever we are reporting any data or any sort of information to managers or to directors of the company mm -hmm. or to any external stakeholders of the organization or even if we want to communicate with our peers inside the organization so what are the things we need to consider while communicating any sort of data or information to them um, data obviously it's an unprocessed information when we process the data it will become information so ultimately we have to communicate information, maybe to managers, directors, external stakeholders, or uh, peers, or anyone. So what are the things in this chapter? We will going to discuss some guidelines here uh, that is necessary to communicate the information. So this is the overview. And uh, again, remember this thing that uh, we have two type of accounting. One is called financial accounting and second is called management or cost accounting. So MA1 and MA2 basically deals with management accounting. Now, when we want to communicate information to external stakeholders like to bankers, suppliers, government, we only and only communicate the financial accounting information. And when we have to report some information to the managers or directors of the company for planning, controlling, or decision-making, then mostly we report management accounting, but sometimes some of the financial information they might request, and we also need to communicate it. But this cost accounting and management information, we never report this information to any of the external stakeholders. We never report management information to them because uh, the management information is like having the business secrets. And it's very personal to the organization and cost and management information. We only report it to the internal users of the organization. Clear with this chapter overview? Yes, sir. Okay. Then the topic list, first of all, deciding who needs what. We need to decide to whom we need to provide any information. Are we providing some information to managers or maybe peers or maybe directors? So first we need to decide because the level of detail or the complexity of information that we want to communicate depend upon our receiver, that who is our receiver and why he need that information. So first we need to decide whenever we are writing a report or a letter or an email. So we need to keep a receiver in our mind that who is the receiver, what is the technical competency of that person, education level of that person, level of understanding he already um, has. So we need to consider all these factors. After that type of communication, what mediums we can use for communicating our information and last but not the least confidentiality because as i told you that cost and management accounting information is like business secrets and it's very important that we need to be very careful when we are 
providing or reporting any such information to anyone. So this is the topic list that we will be discussing here. Any questions so far? Uh, no, sir. Okay. All right, so decide who needs work. First of all, we need to decide whenever we are providing or reporting any information to a manager of the organization. So first thing we need to consider the relevance of the information. We should only provide that information that we believe will be relevant to our manager and that information will help him in planning, controlling and decision making. We should not provide any irrelevant or unnecessary information that he doesn't need. We should only provide that information that he is looking for and that is relevant in his decision-making, planning or controlling. Then whatever information we are reporting, it should be understandable by that person. Uh, when we talk about directors of the company, for example, so it's not necessary that director always be an educated person or he will be some professional. This is not necessary. Most of the time you will going to see in most of the companies, directors are completely uneducated. And, but why they are the directors of the company? Because they have lots of experience in that industry. They have lots of knowledge about the things, but um, from academic point of view, they might uh, not that uh, much sound. So that's why it's very important to consider the competency level, the technicality level of the director. And uh, we should provide the information to any person, to any manager or any director in such a way that it should be easy to understand, uh, easy to understandable by him. Okay, so first of all, avoiding unexplained technical terms. Um, lots of time, um, we use some technical terms even in our uh, business language. So whenever we are communicating the information and if there are any technical terms are there, so we should write them in simple words. So it should be easy for a person that who is receiving the report, it should be easy for him to understand it. Um, in business communication, we called it jargon, that we need to avoid jargon. We should not be using so many technical terms um, in the report that, maybe our receiver, manager or director uh, would not be having any understanding about that. And if it's necessary to use any technical term, so we should explain that in simple words as well. So because the purpose of the report is to communicate the information and if a receiver is unable to understand it, then there's no point um, of writing that uh, piece of info or communicating that information. So. Avoid, uh, avoid jargon, do not use jargon or so much technical terms that receiver does not have knowledge about that. Second, cutting out unnecessary detail. Be specific, this is very important. Be specific and concise. Whatever is the requirement of the user, only that much information you are supposed to provide. Do not try to put unnecessary things that user is not looking for or receiver is not looking for. Then visual aids are very important because this is normal understanding that humans are much better to process visual aids or any information that present through graphics as compared to text or numbers. So it's better to use um, as many chart diagrams um, or, or anything that will get the attention of the user and it will make it easier for the user to grab that information or to understand that information. So graphical presentation and visual aids will always be the best one. And the last, asking the user views on required information and presentation and always take a feedback. Once you write down a report for a manager, so after that, do not forget to take a feedback because feedbacks will give you an idea about the preferences um, of that user. And in future, you can keep those preferences in mind while preparing another report for the person. So this will give you a good idea uh, about the preferences and the level of understanding of the user. So this is very important, um, writing any or communicating any sort of information that you need to consider the receiver of the information and the user of the information. Clear with this thing? Yes, sir. Any questions so far? 
No, sir. All right. <laughs>